Welcome to the Dice Tower, a show all about board and card games. In this episode, Dan King and Eric Summer take a look at different board games at the Gamma Trade Show in Las Vegas. This show is from 2014 and talks about all the new, brand new games coming out. Here with our interviews is your host, Dan King. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek. I'm here with, at the Dice Tower at the Gamma Trade Show with Kent from Strange Magic Games. So, uh, Kent, tell me, how long have you been coming to the Gamma Trade Show? Last time we were here was 16 years ago. Wow. It's yeah, been it's been time. a while. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, it was 16 years ago and then now. So, what brought you then and now? And maybe what's the value you get and, and why didn't you come in those other years? Yeah. Well, 16 years ago, we brought Material World Strategy Board Game to market and... Uh, uh, now we're bringing this game, Fortunata. Okay. That's what brought us here. Okay, and then so when you come here, what's, what are your expectations and what are you trying to get out of coming here? Well, we're looking for non-exclusive distribution connections and uh, direct access to retailers to take this game into their stores and open it up and play it with people. Excellent. And I see you've got the game that you came here with. And tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, this is Fortunata. It's playable by uh, two to five players, and it uh, takes 30 to 45 minutes to play. It's easy. Uh, gamers like it, and so do. It's it's good as a family game too. We've seen a lot of uh, younger sisters and brothers and moms and dads end up playing it right along with uh, the gamers. Cool. Well, why don't we take a closer look? Okay. Okay. This is a game of capture the flag in a sense. You've got to get this gold ring, and you got to take it to the edge of the board. So how do you do that? Every one of these players is trying to get a piece next to the gold ring and start carrying it off the board. Unfortunately, every other player wants to stop them. So is this, if this guy were to take a, make a move here, uh, this guy might well try to capture him, and then he'd be off the board. Now the bee's got the ring. That's pretty much how the game works in a nutshell. You play through the various iterations of different people trying to get the ring, and somebody ends up with it at the end. So there's some special powers in the game, too, or cards and such? Yeah, the, the bee had the power to capture, and then he could pick up the ring. This, this piece has the power when it's closed to scurry away. This is a mouse. So if the bee tried to capture, let's say the mouse had the had the ring, we might just see a game ending here because the game the the mouse has the the ring and he's cloaked. The bee captures, and sure enough, this is a mouse which has the power to scurry. He scurries right to the edge and wins the game. Wow, that's cool. And how many different uh, different types of creatures and powers are there in the game? Yeah, you have a total of 18 different pieces, and uh, they're all most of them are around the board here. They're all they're all referenced on this quick reference card so you can play the whole game just based on this one card once you know the few rules of how pieces engage with each other. So you just saw a whole game right there. It usually takes half hour, 45 minutes, and usually the first thing we hear from the loser is, I want another chance. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.